Hey guys, it's Tape the Great, and we got ourselves a homemade charcuterie board. I'll show you what everything is, or I'll try everything and tell you what they are as we try them, but it's really good. Oh yeah. Alright, so first off, we've got a Ritz cracker with some Jarlsberg cheese dip. Let's try it. Mmm. So savory. Mmm. Tastes of cheese and red onion, but super good though. Let's try the next thing. Now I've got some original style uh, summer sausage, just your basic stuff. Let's try it. Now I know with these kind of charcuterie boards, you're supposed to eat things together, but I'm trying them individually, just showing you what I got. Let's try it. Mmm. A little bit of chewy, but mostly soft. Delicious. Oh, yeah. All right, next we've got a dill pickle slice. Of course, came from a jar, but let's try it. Mmm. Mmm, perfect. Perfectly crunchy. Soft where it matters. You know, that sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. It's not rock hard like a pickle shouldn't be, but you know, <laughs> good nonetheless. But anyway, let's try the next thing. Now we've got three or four, depending on what you want to call it, types of cheeses. This one's Munster cheese. Also, I noticed the video's kind of blurry, but bear with me. But anyway, let's try it. Mmm. Very soft and flavorful. Oh yeah. On to the next cheese. Alright, so this one is a cheddar, Swiss, and American cheese mixed together. That's what it says on the package with bacon bits in it, I assume. Something along those lines. You may or may not be able to see them. No, you can't really see them. But anyway, let's try it. It's good, but it definitely seems more like a processed than uh, like a regular block of cheese, like, like the last cheese. But let's go to the next cheese. It's the best one. Alright, so now I've got a five-year aged Wisconsin cheddar. Very sharp, but let's try it. Mm. It's almost too good to eat big pieces. Mm. Makes your mouth water, of course, like the sharpest cheddar I've ever had. Super good. Oh, yeah. All right, next we've got a chocolate yogurt pretzel. Dipped, of course. But anyway, let's try it. Mm. It's not my favorite because it's more of like the like the chocolate yogurt type thing. Like you know how they have the yogurt covered um, pretzels. It's not like real chocolate, but it's real good nonetheless. Um. Oh yeah, let's try the next thing now. All right, as you may or may not have been able to see at the the bottom corner, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I don't know. I don't know if I got it on film. The grapes next. But anyway, let's try it. Basic green grape, nothing special. Look kind of like a lollipop <laughs> on the stick, I mean. Mm. Juicy and quite a bit different flavored of all the rest. It just like cleans the palate, you know, super refreshing. Um, we've got three more things to try, and let's try them. All right, so the next thing, I've got a toffee glazed pecan. I tried putting it on the stick. As you can see, I kind of bent it because, of course, it's too dang hard. But let's try it. Mm. Again, like the name is, it's co or toffee glaze, so sweet, a little bit nutty, or however you describe a pecan. Pretty good, though. Let's try the next two things. All right, now we got some dried cranberries, and if you're wondering why I keep them on the stick, it's just eh, easy to do, I guess. But anyway, let's try it. Dried cranberries. Mmm. I don't actually think I like them. I do know I much prefer cranberry juice over actual cranberries, and especially like dried cranberries. They just didn't taste that good right now. Even, even normally they don't taste good, but these especially just didn't taste good for some reason, but oh well. That's why we're here to try it. But anyway, let's do the last thing. Alright, last but not least, we've got Wesleydale Blueberry Farm Cheese, imported from England. Now, 
Smelling it, it does not smell good. I'm not excited to try this. When I was younger, I tried blue cheese and all of those nasty cheeses like gorgonzola, and they are horrible. There was one that tasted straight up like spoiled milk. I don't know what this is going to taste like. I hope it's going to taste good, but it sure don't smell like it. But let's try it, right? I guess it doesn't hurt to try it. It's not bad, but it's very like, like, not like cream cheese. It's got like, it's a very light, creamy type cheese, not like cream cheese, but, and it's got blueberry flavor, so it's like a dessert, but it's savory at the same time. It's really odd. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this again. Well, I didn't, but you know, if, if it were me, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this, but interesting flavor nonetheless but anyway this was my charcuterie board mine and my fiance's i should say homemade charcuterie board and i hope you enjoyed me trying the things on it and i'll see you in the next one bye